Why? Well, you can argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division, this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better. And he has proven that every time he stepped into the octagon. He is well-rounded. And many say it, but this kid is well-rounded. And he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, it comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks. And health is wealth. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. Right. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never on the center line. It's almost like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here Tonight. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Kyler, the Matrix Phillips! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi! Herb Dean, third Wait, party in the octagon Wait. tonight. All right, so here's the Korean Superboy, Duho Choi. Another fight here tonight. His first two UFC wins took less than two minutes combined. The majority of Duho Choi's wins have come by first round knockout. We'll see if he can rack up another one here tonight. Oh, oh he's hurt, he's hurt. Establishing the jab. Man, this is wild. If you like offense, these fighters are going at it. All gas, no break, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, flying knee to the dome piece. Fast pace here in the early going. All right, well-timed leg kick by him there, and a lot of heavy pressure on that lead leg, and he made him pay for it. Well, we spoke about reach, and the boxer is longer in the arms. The legs are longer than the arms, so by throwing kicks, you can land and stay at range and not run the risk of getting hit by one of those great right hands that the boxer possesses. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Just out of the range with that right hand. Blocks that kick to the body. Choi gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, 
got the kick to the head home there. Oh, nice job landing that knee strike. Good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Choi gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Nicely done to the body. Tries to work it into a takedown. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Beautiful jab lands. Oh, nice right hand. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Choi. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Good punch. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. Let's go. Oh, now Lance a kick to the body. I want to see that double jab now. Good jab. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, nice. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Nice block. Hook in the clinch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Final seconds of round one. And yet another hook landed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Right. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn. The round is over. You see there's a cut above his eye sustained in that round. And now the cut man comes in. He'll have 60 seconds to try to close it up and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays from that previous round. He certainly got a lot done on the feet, and as such, he has opened up a pretty significant gash above his opponent's eye. Yeah, it was a buildup. He just kept popping him. He kept hitting him until something opened him up. And now he can see the damage that he's inflicting. Nothing feels better to a fighter than to see the person wearing right. your work. Right. That is exactly yeah. what's going on right now. And the cut man is not the only one that is going to keep an eye on that wound as this next round gets underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the stick. Oh! Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. sides in that exchange. Oh, misses with the jab. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. All 
Marjorie continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talks to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the ball. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level. Oh, he's hurt the batter, man. That right hook is nasty. Both of them landed there. But if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> and they separate after exiting the clinch. Well, he blocked that one. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, he connects there. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Fournier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out. Another hurt. He's hurt bad. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Under two minutes to go. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Now he gets a more dominant position with the other one. He is gonna start to call. Oh, big left hook there! Oh! Let's go, let's go! Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right, buddy? Oh, great deception to land the flying knee! Our champ's starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. Oh! My God. Under a minute to go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, nice body shot. That shot blocked by Schultz. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Just misses with the jab there. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. Clipped him with a right hand there. 15 seconds. And back to his feet. All right, so he continues to land and right on that cut. Getting a little bit hard to watch right now with all the blood coming out. But you know, sometimes you got guys that cut easily. You think the Diaz brothers, this guy gets cut, but it doesn't seem to be deterring him. He's still trying to fight, but he's got to make some changes. All right, so the fighters head back to the stools, and hopefully this fight can continue. That is a severe cut. We'll see if the cut man can do some good work here. Well, he's done a real good job attacking that cut above the eye, and here is your visual proof. I mean, John, just devastating. These blows were amazing. He was able to land at will, and he opened up a nasty cut over the eye of his opponent. Now he's got to target it. To and fight? every time he lands, Ready. that blood will start Ready. to pour down into the eye, making it real hard to fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Good. 
I get one, I take one. You get one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, effective use of the jab by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate in that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Straight right hand out just missed. straight left. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Left hook power there yet again. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on fire. When it all comes together, nothing feels better to go out there and implement the game plan that you guys have worked on in training camp, and it goes as desired. Nothing feels better. Shot is blocked there by the Korean Super Bowl. You cannot sit in this position. We will have no choice but to stop the fight. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra pop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. All right, so he finally gets the takedown here. He kept on trying, stayed committed. He told us before the fight, at some point, I'm going to be able to take him down, and that's exactly the way it played out. Both fighters starting to open up a little bit. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice block. Kick is there to the body. Another big body kick lane. Clean execution on that leg kick. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying, but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within, his, within himself right now in regards to him believing are not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Hang in there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Well, the striking clinic continues and He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking the damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axe. Oh, he put it to sleep. Gets back to his feet. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Clean hook there. Way to hide that leg kick. Nice, good strikes. Left hook counter. Final seconds of round three. Stop. And that'll do it, 15 Stop. minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue down the path in order to make the cut worse. Ready to fight? Ready. 
Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five, five rounds. Big elbow there. All right, half guard for him here, and a lot of offensive options, I would think, at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounding power. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, do a posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position in half guard. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Great job changing the position and getting that reversal. Oh, great reversal to top position by Joy. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh. Ooh, diving punch lands. Yep, yeah, gotta be very careful there. He's doing a great job of recognizing that he's damaging his opponent and he keeps going to that spot. up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, another blow lands on the cut. Critical situation now. He's a plenty miss. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Oh, big ground strikes continue to land. Oh. And there comes the stoppage. Do Ho Choi takes the judges out of it, gets the finish. Holy smokes. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by TKO, the Korean Super Bowl. So the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Choi, with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel's getting pretty crowded. Crazy to think this guy is just getting started. Maybe a few years removed from his fighting prime. We'll see just how far he can take it, but tonight, undeniably, 